Hey. Um, I filmed an intro when I was in Chicago, but I honestly looked so haggard that I just, I couldn't stand to post it. So I'm back in LA now and I wanted to give you a little bit more detail before we get into the room tour. I booked the Pendry Chicago on Hotwire and I use the Hotwire app because the prices are always a little bit better through the app. I stayed from March 10th to March 12th, so just two nights, and I ended up paying a trip total of... $356, which to me is just crazy because the Pendry is such a nice hotel for that price. Now, obviously prices fluctuate, especially on Hotwire. I did this through an anonymous deal and maybe one day I'll do a video about how to kind of hack the an anonymous deals on Hotwire and know the hotel that you're getting. Um, I I knew that I was going to be booking the Pendry even though this was an anonymous deal. So the retail rate for this room, I believe was about double when I checked through the Pendry's website and I wish I had that screen capped, but I don't. Um, but again, I paid 356 for two nights uh, and that's with all taxes and fees included. So I'm just whipping out my handy dandy calculator, 356 divided by two, 178 a night with taxes and fees. That's a serious bargain for this type of hotel room. I didn't capture anything in the lobby or the elevator, so on and so forth. The lobby was beautiful. There's a gorgeous bar as you walk in uh, through the, I believe, like the main lobby doors. And I went down there for a martini. I believe the martini was like $22, which coming from Los Angeles, I kind of expected that. I would say that their bar prices are a little bit higher than like the standard Chicago bar. Um, however, you are at a like luxury hotel bar, so of course it's, you're going to pay a little bit more to be there. Beyond that, I had an excellent experience. The staff was super friendly, and the only little hiccup I had was the room. I I came during St. Patrick's Day, the first weekend of St. Patrick's Day. Chicago goes hard for St. Patrick's Day. I came during the first weekend of St. Patrick's Day, and. The room next to me was like in full on party mode, which didn't bother me until they started playing their music so loudly that I could like sing along with the words. I called down the lobby. I said, it's not a big deal. I don't want them in trouble or anything like that. But would you please ask them just to turn it down a smidge? And literally within two minutes, the music was down. So they were definitely on top of it and they definitely care about their guests. The products that are in the bathroom are all quality products. I actually washed my hair with their shampoo and conditioner, which is not something I usually do at any hotel. And the only thing that I didn't love about the hotel is that the body lotion is like heavily scented and I hate scented lotion because it, it, it conflicts with my personal fragrance, which I like to wear Tom Ford Black Orchid. But again, that's no fault of the hotel. Some people I'm sure love scented uh, lotions. The location of the Pendry is perfect. It's right next to London House Chicago. So if you're going during the summertime, you'd be within like literally a couple of, of feet, I would think. I don't know. I'm not good at math, but like you're really close. You're like not even a block away from London House Chicago, which was which is a great rooftop bar. I was there, of course, in March, so it was way too cold to go to a rooftop bar. But it's just across the river from kind of what we know of as Michigan Avenue. The hotel is actually located on Michigan Avenue, but it's still a couple of blocks away from like the major shopping. I was there in March and it was like freezing cold. I brought a parka from J. Crew and just like a couple of sweaters. And I was comfortable enough to walk from the hotel to um, like Saks and Neiman and so on and so forth. Beyond that, it's in comfortable walking distance to both the orange line, which takes you to Chicago Midway, and the red line, which can take you up to the luxury stores if you don't feel like walking there. I didn't take the train a lot of other places. I did take the, the uh, train from Ogilvy out to Barrington, um, but I actually ended up taking an Uber from the hotel to Ogilvy just because I didn't want to deal with public transport at that time. But overall, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend it. So now you can get into what a standard king size room looks like at the Pendry Chicago. Okay, so this is the, obviously the main room. This is a king size bed. There's a little sitting area over here, which I kind of like that it's two different types of chairs because it kind of gives you like a little more functionality. I feel like if you're gonna work or if you're gonna chill or if you're here with two people, you can work and chill. Um, 
And then there's a wardrobe here, and I'll open the wardrobe. I actually think the interior of the wardrobe is pretty cool. Um, two robes, obviously a steamer, which I think that is like such a nice touch when hotels have steamers. That's like a faux marble finish here in the wardrobe. And then there's all of my stuff. Don't look too closely. And then this is the bathroom. And here is the shower. So I, I sent a Snapchat to my group of girlfriends and I said, this gives me like Kim K vibes. I mean, it's a little darker than what I feel like Kim K's house is, but um, Kim K vibes. And then the view is really not much of a view. I'm not sure what the other units are, but let me see if I can get this. Oh, okay. So this is like one big piece of fabric rather than like the traditional type of drape. I love that there's a blackout shade. So that's nice, especially if you're hungover. Um, and this is the view from my room. That's Michigan Avenue right there, I believe. And yeah, it's kind of like a concrete jungle, but it's to be expected staying uh, near Michigan Avenue. And honestly, I have no complaints. Cute place.